Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make these projects, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is listed below in the description. Today I'd like to share with you my August 2021 Artisan Design Team project. Now I was given the opportunity to work with the Sweet Little Stockings stamp set and I honestly have to say that I'm not one that usually purchases stamp sets with animals in them. But after working and playing with this product, you can do a lot more than just an animal card or gift or anything like that. It can be used for so many options. So today I wanted to share with you an idea, maybe like a gift giving idea. So we've got some gift packaging here and then these really cute tags can be placed inside this gift box and you can give them away as maybe a teacher gift or a neighbor gift for the holiday season. So today I wanted to share with you how I created these tags and then I'll just walk you through really quickly how I decorated each one. So let's go ahead and get started. So to begin, you're going to need a couple different products. The first thing is the stocking dies and this coordinates with the sweet little stocking stamp set. But in these dies is this really fun banner die and it's got this cute stitching along the outside edge and it's just a perfect size for so many things, for banners, for tags, for cards. And so I used this die and I cut out my tags from the Jolly Felt um, kind of an accessory pack. You're going to get some of these really fun felt um, textured pieces. They come in a 6 by 12 and you get one of each color. And so I just cut four of those out. I'm going to be using this yellow one for the gift box. And so I've used these three colors for my tags. The next thing you're going to do is pick some designer series paper that matches. Now I'm using the Coordinating Sweet Stockings DSP from Stampin' Up. It does come in a 12 by 12 pack and you're gonna get two of each sheet. And I just cut them down to six by six so that it's easy for me to show you the patterns in that. But you can see that one side here, you just got some really fun patterns that are more subtle and perfect for any holiday occasion. And then on the other side, you're going to get these really fun animal prints. Now again, I didn't really wanna focus on animals for this project but you can uh, make some really fun things with these patterns of papers. And then these stockings, they do have die cuts that match those. So it's really easy to put cards together if you're in a pinch just by um, cutting out those already colored stockings. And then just look at how cute those little guys are in those stockings. So fun DSP. So what I've done is I've taken three papers that I think coordinate well with my felt and I've cut them just a little larger. I've cut them to two and three fourths by four and three fourths. And then I've just, like I said, they coordinate all really well with that felt paper. So the first step is to now mimic the shape of the tags on the DSP. So if we go back to the original, you can see here that I've mimicked that shape here. So to do that, you're going to want to actually add your felt to your designer series paper. Now you can use the stamp and seal or some tear and tape. I've just added a little adhesive right down the middle and I'm just going to go ahead and with a nice border all the way around, just add that to the DSP and we'll do that on all three. I'll show you what it looks like with um, tear and tape. It's a little easier. Just let's stick that on there and then pull the paper off. right down the center. And 
and you do want a little bit of that stitching does show through the felt so you do want to make sure that that stitching is on top because you're going to get that cute little edge that makes that fun detail so right down the center of each one so then once you have your felt adhered to your paper you're going to add a little mark to where those points are going to be where you're going to cut so I've got one that's directly be below the center point and then we're going to do one that's just off to the side just slightly so wherever you think that's going to look good so right about there and there then you can take a pair of paper snips and you're just going to remove the corners here to create that nice tag you could use um, a paper trimmer here too if you wanted to instead that one I think needs to be angled just a little bit more okay and then you're just going to repeat that for the other tags that you're making so just a little mark and you can use grid paper here if that's going to help you kind of line up where those corners are and then cut away. So the next thing I'm going to do is to do a little stitching detail along the inside felt banner. And I'm also going to attach my ribbon to the tag so that I can create a loop so it can um, attach to a gift or bag. So the next thing I'm going to add is the ribbon. And this is the Pool Party Striped Gras Grain Ribbon. And I'm going to find the center. I've got 10 inches. I'm going to place on the back so I'm kind of like making a V shape here. And on the back, I'm going to add a little glue dot over both sides. So I want it to kind of hold the shape. Okay, so I've got a little glue dot there right over both sides. And then I'm placing that in the center and about halfway into, or not halfway, about a half of an inch into the felt right there. And that's just going to hold it in place as I stitch around it. Okay, so those are now ready for some stitching and I'm just going to use a basic stitch on my sewing machine and go all the way around and I'm going to double enforce this ribbon by going back and forth a couple times. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all done. We've stitched around all of the felt pieces. So to add the details, I felt like they each needed to have a little vellum circle in the center. The circles are two inches in diameter and they just go right in the center. We'll adhere them once we've added some of the other details. So I have already stamped and cut and colored a lot of these images. And I just wanted to share with you how I did it with this one right here. And I'm gonna be using the Stampin' Blend markers to color in. And I've got Pool Party in both the light and the dark. So I'm going to begin with the Dark Pool Party marker here. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in one section with this color. Then I'm going to use my Old Olive Stampin' Blend markers. And I'm going to start with the light. And I'm just going to fill in the other section. 
And then I'm going to use the cherry cobbler and I'm going to use the light cherry cobbler as well. And this is just this little detail strip up here. So we've got a cute little stocking that's colored in. Now, if you want to add some depth, you can use the coordinating colors, either like the dark old olive or the dark cherry cobbler, or you can use this little trick and it's to grab your smoky slate and you're going to use this to add shadows. And so you're going to just add those all the way around. The nice thing about using smoky slate is that you um, don't have to switch one color from one color to the next. You can just add shadows all the way around your image, um, moving from one color to the next color. And then you just go back and blend with your lighter color. So I've got maybe just a little bit here around the gray or the green and then a little bit underneath where the blue is and the same over here. Okay. Then you'll take, go back and grab those colors that you used earlier and you just blend that gray with that color and it's just going to give you a really subtle shadow. So now you can see how we have more depth in this colored image. So we can now add these images to our tags. So I've got this cute striped one here on my white tag, then the short one on my green, and the one we just did on the red. And then I kind of just decorated them as I wanted to. So for the red one, I've got a candy cane, a couple of pine boughs, and just tucked those in with some glue dots and took the word Santa. So let me show you where that greeting comes from. So I've got this one here says Santa Paws is coming to town. But since I'm not using... Um, the animals for this project. I just wanted to use um, Santa is coming to town. So I went ahead and stamped it and then fussy cut out the words I wanted to use. So here is that. Then I've got this cute little present. I've also colored in coordinating colors and that card or that tag is now all done. So you just need to make sure you adhere everything. You use dimensionals or glue dots. And that one's all done. And then we've got our green one. And again, we've got another candy cane, some pine boughs. I did wanna add a um, little present here. So this one's the tall one and you can cut that down or just place it right in there. It looks like it's kind of sticking out slightly. And then again, some pine boughs just to kind of make that stocking feel nice and full. And then there are some die cuts here that are different shapes. So there's a star die cut and I've added that and then fussy cut out Christmas greetings here. And that's how I made the green one. And then let's move that red one for the, the white one. I've taken the vellum circle and then just added some of the other die cuts. To, around the circle to create kind of a wreath look. So I've got the stamped leaves and then die cut leaves and just kind of layered those on top and then done the same to the bottom. We'll go this way. And all these are colored with the same coordinating colors. And so it looks like for these leaves, I've stamped them in old olive and then cut, colored them with old olive blends. So you're going to get kind of that double look here. And then the stocking goes right on top. So then you've got the holly berry die cut and that comes in here as well. So you can see right there are the pieces and this is all in that stocking dies set, which is just super cute. So once you have all those put together, you're going to add a couple embellishments and I used the matte decorative dots, which coordinate nicely with the same colors that we used. 
And so here again are the finished tags. So then moving on to the packaging, I'm using one of the mini paper pumpkin boxes. And I've cut a piece here that is 12 inches by five and a half inches of that coordinating DSP. So what I did is I just went ahead and put kind of the box together so I can kind of see how everything kind of fits and where the top is and the bottom. These boxes are super easy to put together. You actually don't need any adhesive. This is the top here. And then the bottom here has these two flaps. And what you do is you actually slide. Let me open this a little better. So these two side flaps go inside and then this double flap here actually wraps around and then connects down to the bottom opening. Okay, so then that box is all put together without any extra adhesive. So I'll show you that again on this side. So this is gonna wrap around and then that goes right over those flaps and this just gets tucked right into those holes at the bottom and then that is all ready for maybe a little tissue paper and then you add your cute little tags maybe a little pack of hot chocolate or a tree in there and then you can just close that right up and then we're going to go ahead and decorate this so I'm going to take the tags out for now I'm going to place my DSP here on the outside of the bottom and I'm going to add just a little adhesive and I'll just show you how I wrapped the box so place a little adhesive right here at the top you want to make sure that it's in the center and that it's nice and straight or your paper will um, kind of start to warp and not meet up Okay, so right there on the front, and then you're just going to come down and fold, and then come around, and again, just make sure everything is nice and straight, and you're going to fold again, and then open this up and add some adhesive here, too. So we're kind of just working the adhesive around the box. Some people would just go ahead and place the adhesive right away, but I like to kind of work my way around just in case I need to go and make some adjustments. Okay, so then this comes up and around. Make sure it's nice and tight before you make any um, creases with the box. And then go ahead and add the adhesive and come back. You can see how it just adds that fun little bit of color to the box. Sorry if the camera is wiggling everywhere. So then we add a little more adhesive as we come back. Make sure it's all nice and tight on there. And then you can see here we've got a little extra and we can just go ahead and wrap that around to the front so every little piece has some. And then you can cut off a little strip here with your paper trimmer. Hmm, let's see. We'll just, we'll just cut maybe a fourth of an inch or so. It doesn't need to be too perfect since it's going to on the inside. So then a little adhesive on both pieces or sections, I guess. And then that just gets wrapped up right around to the inside of your box. And that actually is a really easy way to add paper to the outside of these little mini paper pumpkin boxes, okay? And you can see how nice that looks when you open it because that paper is all over the entire box. So then to kind of finish decorating, I did add a ribbon. Now the ribbon is wrapped around, so they do need to remove the ribbon before they can open their box. And so all you need to do is just take maybe about five inches or so Let's just go a little bigger than that. Maybe let's go six because we're going to tie a bow and wrap all the way around. And then you can measure a little extra, maybe another six inches or so. And then you'll just make a little bow on the side. And the nice thing about this is they can um, 
undo the bow and get inside the box. And then if they want to use the box again, maybe for another gift or to place something special inside, they can tie the bow again and keep the um, keep it looking all cute. So you've got something like that. And then we're going to take our felt piece and we're going to actually remove this angle on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a pair of good fabric scissors and I'm just going to trim from one corner to the next. And that's going to give me a nice rectangle for the top of my box. Now to kind of bring in that same stitched look, I'm just going to run that through my um, sewing machine and then add it to the top of my box. And then we're gonna decorate the top. And I've got a fun um, idea here that I wanna show you on adding pattern to the presents. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stitched that. And I've added some tear and tape to the sides. And then I'm just gonna place that right in the center of my box. And then we're gonna decorate it just like we did with the um, tags. So I've got a two inch circle of vellum and I have already stamped and cut out my presents. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how I'm, I added this fun pattern to the presents. Okay, so the first step is to stamp your image on some sticky paper and this is where the sticky is on this side here and so I made sure my image was on the sticky side then you're going to remove the inside panels of the present so that you have an opening where you want to place your stamp you want to do this after you have already colored your image so I've got my image here I colored it with old olive and made the shadows just like we did before and then this just kind of goes right over that image you want to make sure that it's on there in the right place so if it is off a little bit make sure to lift it up and reposition it and then you want to make sure that center part covers up that ribbon and goes all the way to the top just like that then you're going to take some coordinating color and I've got a darker color in evening evergreen and then I've got my stars which I'm going to use for this one they're just some cute little stars and they're in the sweet little stockings right here and then the other one I'm going to use is this little leaf image and then you just easily stamp these stars all over the present And that's going to give you that pattern in the wrapping paper, but not on the ribbon. So just like that. And then I repeated those same steps on my blue present. And you can use the exact same mask here. So make sure everything lines up. And then this time I'm using Bermuda Bay. I've colored it with Cherry Cobbler and Pool Party. And then I'm just going to use this little floral image leaf to add some texture and a fun print to this wrapping paper. And then just really carefully remove that mask and you can use that mask over and over until it loses the um, stickiness because you really want it to be nice and sticky to hold in place and then you're just going to arrange these presents as you want and i did stamp and cut out the sending lots of love to go underneath that and then i have a little tag that says for you that i can add to my bow and your box is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun gift project with the sweet little stocking stamp set and the coordinating products. If you'd like to see written instructions and close up images of this project, you can visit my blog at creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.